7 o'clock in the morning and uh, the four of us are loaded in our beautiful uh, Cessna 414 and we're taxiing to runway 22 in Peter Night for our great journey to that very exciting destination in the Exuma Island at the 10 mile strip north of Staniel K. That's supposed to be amazing. We have never been there, but I've looked at it quite a bit on Google Earth and I call it the uh, Maldives of the Caribbean. All right, the speed is alive. There we go. Four X ray, X ray radar contact, four miles uh, southeast of Peter O'Night, verify 1700. Affirmative, four X ray. So we're going to be uh, flying at uh, 19,000, flight level 190. And as you see, I took a flight plan that takes us to the east coast and then. Uh, out of the uh, Miami area, they don't like us to fly around there. Miami Center, Chancellor 414, X-ray, X-ray, good morning with you out of uh, 13,600 for flight level 190. I think it's a very special place, it's kind of remote but yet uh, fancy. Right now we are flying to North Eleuthera, next to Harbor Island, one of my other best destinations in the Bahamas. We're gonna clear uh, immigration there. That's uh, the first port of entry. It's a must. And we probably won't need to refuel. And then uh, once this is done, it's gonna take maybe about a half hour. We'll take off again and fly for a short half hour flight where we're actually gonna fly over the whole Exuma chain of islands. Uh, Stay no keys more on the south side of it. So now we're on our second legs. We just landed in North Eleuthera uh, to clear custom, that's the port of entry, it's the best one to go to uh, Staniel Key and now we're just reaching the uh, north edge of the uh, Exuma uh, chain of island, it's actually spectacular. It's one, one island after another over 100 miles and there's nothing, I mean it's, uh, I compare it to the Maldive island uh, in the Indian Ocean without the coconut trees but uh, it's really, really fantastic. All right, so now we are uh, getting our downwind for runway 34 in Staniel Key. We've been flying over all the area we're going to explore with the boat. They just redid the runway, it looks beautiful. I'll put the flaps 10 degrees and run the landing gear down. Beautiful new runway, they just uh, redid it in the last six months and I believe they opened like two months ago. Good for most uh, medium-sized jet. There is uh, no amenities here. You have to come with your fuel enough to leave and uh, go back to your port of entry. Okay, after a couple of hours, finally we just uh, landed in the dream part of the Bahamas. It is madness, isn't it? Huh? It was oh beautiful. Oh my god. Insane. Just You're right, it's like the Maldives of... Yeah, it's just like Bahamas. all this chain of island with nothing. We're going to see the pigs! The pigs! What's going on here? What's going on?
I've never seen anything like this. It's incredible. I mean, it's we're in water right now. We are in clear water, vodka. What's everyone else doing today? The most amazing 36 hours in uh, Stenyoki. Now we're about to depart and go back to Tampa, our hometown. Weather is great. When we 3,000 feet, just been redone. And here we go. Just in sequence now in PBI, we just passed Isaac and uh, we are about uh, half hour away, maybe a little bit less. And they ask us to go down to uh, 8,000 feet, probably to go through Preda, the next intersection. November 414, X-ray, X-ray, cross Preda at maintain 4,000. As you can see, it's this area between the uh, Bravo airspace of Miami and uh, all that uh, part between PBI, Fort Lauderdale and Miami. It's really crazy busy. It does not stop on the radio. Miami Center, one three four three five. Cancer four one four X-ray X-ray Palm Beach approach. Good afternoon. Plan the visual approach from a one zero left. Four X-ray X-ray terminal setting two eight zero. Point your sequence out as you get closer. Two eight zero four X-ray X-ray. Now we're pretty much downwind, runway 10 left, the big airport's busy. To assess the 4 extra, extra your traffic to follow, 1 to 2 o'clock, 5 miles, descends out of 1,700 in Airbus. Yes, we have the traffic inside for extra extra. Extra, follow the Airbus, caution wake turbulence, clear visual approach, runway 10 left. Or 414 extra extra, Palm Beach Tower, runway 10 left, clear to land, caution wake turbulence from the landing A320, wind 1108. I uh, got a report of uh, who's a whole of a wind shear, two mile final, gain of 10 to 12 knots from A320 about 10 minutes ago. We are above the glide path, so we should be good with the uh, wake turbulence. Sweet goodbye, you let me out 